Um, so I want to talk about something a little not neat, um, um, <laughs> a little lighthearted. So um, this is a this is a ser- sort of a serious topic, but this is a, a, a article from Sebastian entitled "Stop Naming Your Python Modules Utils." And I don't think we've, I don't know if we've covered it before, but it's good advice and it's something that happens. Uh, Basically, a lot of projects, public or private, will at some point end up having a utils.py or a utils package or something. (laughs) And this article is just saying, resist the urge. Um, Utils is arguably one of the worst names for modules because it's very blurry and imprecise. Some of the names did not say what the, uh, such a name does not say what the purpose of the code inside is and uh, on the contrary utils module can well contain almost anything by naming a module utils software developer lays down uh, perfect conditions for uh, an incohesive or an uncohesive whatever code blob and i have definitely seen this in action i have uh, been one of the culprits before of having a pulling out a uh, a, a little helper function that I had in one file and I wanted it to use it in a different uh, module. So I didn't know where to put it. So I stuck it in a utils.py, added a couple more. So there's just a few methods and I come back six months later and there's like a couple dozen just junk drawer functions from all over the place in there. Um, so if you start, people will add junk to it. So, uh, and it, uh, Sebastian lists a few excuses It's just one function, but it grows. Um, There's no other place in the code to put it. Well, try harder. And I need a place for company commons. I don't even really know what that means, but, you know, name it company or something. And also Django does it. Well, I don't know if you're a, well, maybe they shouldn't have, but they have it now, so they're not going to change it. So the advice is to try name, uh, try grouping your uh, utility functions and uh, naming them based on the role of how you're going to use it or possibly group them in themes. And uh, also, if you see a utils.py crop up in a code review, just request that the person rename it to something else, if if possible. So. <laughs> just set of a CI rule to break the build if you see that file name. <laughs> yeah, so what are your thoughts on this? On uh, I, I, I agree with Sebastian, uh, absolutely. Um, I understand the challenge because like naming things in software is hard, but naming things in software is super important because, you know, when you, you think about like, even just like function names or class names or whatever, right? Usually what will happen is they'll get like a crummy vague name and then a comment describing what they are doing. And you're like, well, why don't you just make the name a little bit longer that says what it does. (laughs) And, And utils is kind of like the generic catch all of saying like, well, I couldn't come up with a name. So here it is. We're just going to drop it here. And, you know, um, I, in my code, I have like tons of different areas of which I organize it, you know, sort of like sub modules, I, I guess if it's a, or sub packages, if it's a package, but not sometimes it's not a technically a package. Um, and I try to come up with names that are, are meaningful, right? Like, I have something called number converter that will like try to parse an integer or return a default value instead of throwing an exception or it'll try to parse some other thing or maybe it's called conversions.py or whatever, but it's not like utils, right? Like there's, there's usually some kind of uh, better structure you can find that will help you do this. But, you know, there's that joke that, uh, you know, naming things in computer science, that's one of the hardest problems, right? And I, I, I do agree with that, but yeah, it's, it's worth the effort when you get it figured out. Yeah, and you you just if you don't believe me, you can just try it sometime. If you're working on group project, just put one function in utils, and you will see it grow. Um, and you'll have <laughs> is, to find is this it. like the broken window yeah, theory definitely. of software. <laughs> yep. Um, and misc doesn't count either. If you name it misc, it's just as bad. That's so, right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's probably some synonyms here in the code world <laughs> that uh, that don't count. So yeah. Thank you for watching this segment of the Python Bytes podcast. This video was made during the recording of the full episode. Visit pythonbytes.fm and get the whole story. Subscribe to the podcast and get the entire episode delivered to your phone. Please support our work by taking one of the courses at pythonbytes.fm slash courses or learning PyTest with Brian's book at pythonbytes.fm slash PyTest. 
Finally, visit our sponsor shown on the screen here. Visit the link on the screen and get the special offer for Python Bytes and YouTube listeners. Thanks, and have a great rest of your day.